Right, so we've been given this square with a shaded region, and we have to work out the proportion of the square that's been shaded. This is all the information we have. We have to use this. We're told that firstly it's a square, so that means that the sides are the same length. And its perimeter is 16 centimeters. So square has four sides. If its perimeter is 16 centimeters, then 16 over four, its sides are four centimeters each. Okay, so that is four centimeters and that is four centimeters, which means that that must be one centimeter because that's three. And also, if that's two centimeters, that must also be two centimeters. Good. So, what's the best way to go about this? Well, you can look at the shaded area itself. I mean, it's tempting <clears throat> to focus on the shaded area and try and work out the area of that and then subtract and then do that as a fraction of the whole area, which is 16 centimeters squared, four times four. However, that shape is pretty awkward. Working out the area of this shaded area is difficult directly. I mean, how, how would you divide it up? If you come down there, then uh, do you just draw a box there? Oh, it's, it's a nightmare. Far simpler to work out the area of these two triangles, the unshaded bit, and then subtract, subtract that from the total area, which is four times four, which is 16 centimeters squared. So let's do that. We're gonna work out the area of that triangle and the area of that triangle. So, firstly, this triangle, okay, that's one centimetre and that's four centimetres. Formula for the area of a triangle is half base times height, okay, half base times height. You need to remember that. So, half times, what's the base? Well, it's upside down, but that doesn't matter. We can just treat that as the base. Okay, times one, what's the height? Well, if that's the base, then that's the height. So the height must be four. Okay, so half times one is a half, times four is two centimeters squared. Okay, so that's two cm squared. Right, now this one. So we've got something like that, that's four and that's two. Half times base times height is half times the base is four times the height is two. So that's four centimeters squared. Okay, four cm squared. Good. Now the whole thing, okay, is four times four. Area of a square, pretty simple. 4 times 4 is 16 centimetres squared. So, the area of the shaded bit is equal to the whole thing minus that, minus that. Yeah? So, the area of the whole thing minus this, minus that, leaves behind the shaded area. So, shaded area... equals total area minus, so total area is the whole thing, minus that one, minus that one, okay? Which is, total is 16 minus that one is two, that one is four. So 16 minus six is, well 16 minus two minus four is 16 minus six, or 16 minus two is 14 minus four is 10. However you want to look at it, it's 10 cm squared. Good, so that is 10 cm squared. Now the question was, don't just leave it there, okay? Read the question, I wanted the proportion very important, not just the area of the shaded bit, the proportion. Well, the proportion is, 
It's a fraction, okay? So it's 10 cm squared out of a total, the whole thing, the proportion of the square. So the square, the whole thing is 16 cm squared. So it's 10 sixteenths. 10 sixteenths, which is simplest fraction, divide top and bottom by two, we get five eighths. Boom, there we go, five eighths.